Hello, my name is Carmen. Today I'm going to give you my testimony on how I came to the teaching of Master Omra Mikhail Ivanov through choir singing. So this was back in about 1980 when my girlfriend told me she had joined this choir and had some tickets uh, for sale for the next concert and she invited me to get some tickets. So I did and it was in Montreal, Plateau Saint-Denis and the choir started singing with the first part of classical music like uh, Ave Verum or Te Deum and in the second part it was um, a different kind of singing, something I had never heard before. It was uh, in a language I didn't know, so I was just passively listening when I was moved by a wave of energy that I had no idea where it was coming from, and it enveloped me and it rose in me until it came to my throat. And when it came to my throat, I, I didn't know what to do. And, and then it came over and started overspilling as tears. And I was so overwhelmed, I was so moved by the uh, flow of the music that later on, after the concert, I called back my girlfriend Jacqueline and I said, Jacqueline, what language were they speaking? She said it was Bulgarian. And I said, wow, I was moved to tears and yet I didn't understand a word of what they were singing. And Jacqueline and I had met years before into a yoga school in the United States and our yoga teacher had told us, truth, you do not analyze. Truth, you feel it. So I told Jacqueline, next time you have a concert, could you buy me some tickets again? I would like to go and verify that incredible emotion that I felt while the choir sang that second part. So it was maybe a month or two later, and there was another concert, so she bought me tickets and I went again. This time I didn't have the same overwhelming sensation, but I had a lot of joy inside of me, and two words remain. It was Jivot Blajan, Blajan, Jivot, 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 Jivot Blajan. So I called Jacqueline again, and I said, what is the meaning of these two words? Oh, she said, let me go to my singing book, because I don't know all the songs by heart yet. She hadn't started uh, in the concerts yet, because she was, had just joined the choir, so she looked in her book and she told me it means blissful life. And she said, why don't you come singing with us? And I said, no, 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 I don't want to make any efforts at the moment. I just prefer to uh, wait until something clear is indicated to me. I've been searching for a few years now and I feel I'm spreading my wings, but I have no depth to anything that I'm learning. I just feel something common between all the workshops and all the conferences I'm going to. So I, I prefer to wait and see where heaven's going to take me next. So she says, well, why don't you wait until you suffer? Because then when you suffer, you'll really want to make efforts. And then she hung up on me. So I thought about this and I said, hmm, if I have to wait until I suffer, plus having to make efforts, maybe it's better I make efforts now without the suffering. So she had told me where they were rehearsing in Montreal at the, um, the school in question. And so I went to the practice. And since I didn't know nothing about choir singing, I sat among the brothers at the back. And it was when it was time to learn the different voices, one of the brothers said, do you know which voice you are? And I said, no, I have no idea. So he said, well, let's go and see Jeanette and she will tell you if you're soprano or alto. Well, I get, obviously, I didn't know much about music. All I had ever sang was mantram, uh, monotone at the yoga school. And previous to that, I had been kicked out of the music school at uh, school because I didn't know how to sing. So I didn't have a very good impression of myself with singing. So anyway... Uh, Jeanette tested my voice and she said I was soprano and I said okay so I made a promise to myself that I would try this singing for six months and in six months I would reevaluate if it was worth it or not 
because I had heard about the dark night of the soul and I knew there would come a point where my ego would hold me back or my personality from making any effort and want to go back to its comfort zone. So because I knew of this dark night of the soul, I had set a six-month extension with the promise of not quitting. And of course, some months down the road, every pretext under the sun was good to make me quit. Too much traveling back and forth to town, traveling to the airport for my flights. Everything was, I was, I seemed to be on the road four days a week. So I had to change my schedule so that I would return from a flight when it was time for the practice uh, of the choir. Anyway, I made it work. And when the six months came up on the calendar, I have to admit, I was so happy. I had been playing the tapes over and over in the car, so the tunes would be set in my mind. So all I had to do is add the words to it. And then I felt it's like I had reached such a beautiful state. It's like the roof of the car was way higher than the physical roof, just because I felt so so expanded, so great with that singing. And uh, so then I joined the choir in their concert, and there was so often that even in the practice, I would have tears come down because the energy, the vibration, the frequency we would reach in with those songs. It, of course, they're the songs of Master Peter de Neuve that we were singing in concert. There was the first part that was like the, the classical music, and the second part were always the songs of Master Peter Deneuve. And I reached such incredible states during the years that I sang with that Evera choir. It was wonderful, wonderful. So if there's anything I can do today is to encourage you to learn the songs, listen to them, feel the, the bliss they bring. Oh, and one last thing I want to add is the first time I went at Bonfait in 1981, it was the tradition to share breakfast among friends and to learn about the newcomers. So I was invited to Sa Perodi, and she wanted to know about who I was, how did I learn about the teaching. And there was an older brother there called Brother Joseph, who had been a monk and who had been sent by his teacher to find the master. He had said, I've given you everything I could teach you. Now you go back to France and you go and find your next teacher and you will recognize him because he wears white and he smells garlic. So Fra Joseph had ended up meeting the master going to the south of France. And um, I told Fra Joseph and Saperodi how I had come to the teaching through hearing the choir sing. And I told him about the Jivot Blajen, Blajen Jivot. And he said, yes, and do you know why you had this emotions that came up to your throat and you cried? And I said, no, I still don't understand today, except that it was very powerful. He told me, it's because it reminded you of the lost paradise of your soul. Well, just the way he said it to me, just the memory it brought back, Tears came up again. So I can say that these songs have really brought me to the brotherhood. And I'm very, very thankful for that. So I hope you enjoy learning the songs and that you too will be moved to tears through this singing. Thank you.